Welcome back, my friends and family, to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. We are in the final, well, the last rounds of the final tournament, whatever, quarterfinal match. We are in the quarterfinal match against Maximilian Pegasus. Well, well, Yugi boy, you've come a long way, but now it's time to lose. I hope I did his voice justice. I love Little Grilo. I can't do the voices, though. I'm... whatever. So, we're gonna be fighting Pegasus, and yes, Pegasus has his tune cards. Um, and, you know, the cards he's known for, so get ready to get your ass kicked. I'm talking to myself, obviously. Unless I can get proper monsters. So, I have these two, and I'm going to put it in defense mode and pray to God that Pegasus cannot defeat it. Because Pegasus has some really, really de devastating monsters, and I do not want to have to face them, so let's see. No. No, that doesn't work either. Damn it! Why weren't you strong enough? Uh, yes, this will be fine. We're going to summon the Flame Swordsman. And pray to God it can kill this card. Oh, it does have the advantage, so we're going to do that. Advantage, go! Yes, thank God, it was just a prevent rat. We can beat that. And now we can do 2,000 points of damage to Pegasus. I am actually terrified of how this duel is going to go. Pegasus has some unpredictable cards and just some really strong monsters, so... Hopefully he just plays defensively, because we already had a good start. Um... None of these cards work. I'll, I will have be having new cards in my deck because I did do a little training off screen, you know, do the free duels and stuff. I wanted to add new cards so you guys don't get completely bored, but who knows, sometimes that's just unavoidable. But we'll find out. So we have no... really? Nothing? You know what, we'll just summon this card. And, uh, does this beat this? Does this beat this? We'll use Stone D just to see what it is. Okay, it was Fiend Reflection too. And we'll do as much damage as possible right now because we do not know how many turns we have until he summons a boss monster, which uh, usually has more than 2,300 attack points. And that would be terrifying. But right now he should go to destroy Mammoth Graveyard. You see, this is what I was afraid of, people. I was afraid he was just going to get the advantage and then that would ruin everything. And um, what he did was uh, he got the advantage and ruined everything. So we're going to be throwing out all of our cards uh, that don't fuse into something very powerful. Oh wait, no! Thank you for screaming at me, people. This, with this, a zombie with Mammoth Graveyard specifically, only Mammoth Graveyard creates Great Mammoth of Goldfine. And our Great Mammoth can destroy this new card that was going to defeat us. So that's pretty cool. That's the reason I put Mammoth Graveyard, since we use so many zombie cards already. It would be interesting to get this 2200 attack point monster that can only be summoned or fused with Mammoth Graveyard. So, you know, I'm happy to see that it worked out. I thought it would be a little bit rare for it to even get summoned, but what the fuck. That's a boss monster right there, and... I don't think I have anything that can beat it. He did it, people. He defeated us. Only thing that can, in my deck that can defeat Bickery Box is my my boss monster, Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon. And to summon that, do I have the advantage? I do not. And in order to summon that, we need... Damn, what do we do? I just gotta pray he doesn't summon anything even stronger. Because now my monsters are gonna be dying. Okay, good. We have a little defense up until- Oh, thank god! Never mind. Okay, with Labyrinth Wall, as long as he doesn't get his ultimate monster, the strongest card in his deck, we should be fine. What? 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 What just happened? But no. But everything was okay! We, we were gonna win! God! Freaking damn it! Okay, so... Shit happens? That's that's the moral of the story? Shit happens and we need to figure out how the hell we're gonna win now? So, we'll try again. 
and we'll do- Oh, it won't win! It's not enough damage! We just needed 150 more! It's not fair! It's not fair! No! We were so close! Oh, that card is so strong. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! How do you come so close? I lost the duel. God, no! It's... it's over. Unless... Oh my god. I might not have lost the duel. I don't... it depends on what he summons next. Depends on this. Oh! Holy crap. Okay. Okay, ball is back in my court. We have a chance, people. We have a chance, and we need to take advantage of it. Our Flower Wolf happened to have the one thing, the one thing, that Bickery Box is weak to, which is Sun. And thanks to that, we can defeat the Bickery Box. That, that, I thought that was the end of the duel. We got unbelievably, thank God I never quit. Thank God I actually go through with the loss. Okay, thank God. Oh my God, that was, what? What the fuck is going on? How do you have two Regekis? Do, do you know how expensive those cards are? Do, do, you know what? No, we win. Screw it. That was the closest duel we've ever had. It was very stressful. But we won. Jupiter beats Jupiter. Holy crap, that was crazy. Pegasus is always going to be a strong opponent, but I was not expecting that much stress over one human being. Normally, it does not... It, no, that does not happen. That was way too close. Sleeping Lion, I don't even know if that was a good card. I don't care if my rank was D, we, we won. I need to save the game because... Oh my god, that was just stressful. Yeah, we get to rip out his eye. Screw you, Pegasus, you freaking monster. You nearly defeated me with your damn Regekis. That card costs 900 to 99,000 star chips. I can't put it in my deck. And sometimes if you can start the game with Regeki, it just gives you it. But we got Dark Hole, which is way worse. Oh, okay, we're saving the game, everybody. Because if I lose the next battle, seeing as I almost lost to Pegasus, we won by luck, by just the fact that our sign was correct. Semi-final match, Yugi versus Isis. Uh, you know what? I don't even have a joke for this. You know, I'm gonna defeat Isis. That's 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 my goal. So I'm gonna be the hero. And Sleeping Lion, 17 defense is good. Do we have any weak beasts? Like just outright terrible beast monsters? Uh, 12, 12, 12, mindless radiant. Okay. So yeah, we'll put Sleeping Lion and set that one. That, that works. Good job. Thank you, Pegasus. Even though that was a D-Ring card, I'm happy you gave it to me. Oh, okay. This has been a stressful day. I was not expecting all this crap. So, wow, we got a good... This is a good hand. I mean, we just summoned a Mystical Sand right off the bat. Let's see you defeat this freaking Isis. Bring it on. And she summons... Nothing. Okay, we're good. We're good. I was getting scared. Like, holy crap, maybe she can defeat this. I, I, I need to keep my mouth shut. But no, we're safe. Now we'll summon a plant and a zombie, creating the awesome Pumpkin King of Ghosts. And we'll use Jupiter. Jupiter's pretty cool. And we'll attack with Mercury. Or Mystical Sand. Holy crap, that thing... If she would've just left it in attack mode, we'd be in trouble. So that means she can destroy our Pumpkin King pretty easily. All, she didn't even fuse for that card. She just summoned it. She summoned a 2100 attack point monster for fun. This is, these are her monsters. I have to fuse for monsters like this. This is insane. Um, holy crap, I might as well just start throwing everything away because none of these cards are going to do anything. Uh, I obviously want to keep the Thunders because they make my strongest monster, but let's see. Lame. Nah, Zombie Warrior, that's lame. Whatever. 2100, barely beating it, but it beats it. So we need to, we just need to be happy about that. 
And then she'll keep putting monsters in attack mode to destroy our weaker monsters. But hopefully she never summons anything more than 21. Because 21 is all I got. Whew. Thank God we had such a good hand because her hand is just full of 2,000 attack points. Or 2,000 monsters. Oh yeah, we, I won this card earlier. It was pretty cool. But it's not exactly going to be useful here. Uh, I don't think this will make anything, but I do need to throw away some cards, so let's actually- Oh, wait. You know what? I think this will make something? Maybe? Let's try it. Uh, I don't care if I throw away cards here. I think this makes, like, an old guy, and then this makes an even older guy. So, yeah. That's pretty cool. I don't usually summon this monster, but hey, it even has the right typing. So, this will eat 2400, and we get to attack directly with Mystical Sand. All right! See, you need to experiment a little, people. You can summon weird monsters like God. That guy's basically just God. It's called Kaminari Attack, but I mean, Kami Attack, if God, you know, you get it, you know? Okay, whatever. Learn Japanese. I'm, I know I'm not I'm going to. So, we got Rock, or er, Warrior, and Machine to equal Cyber Soldier. Very weak monster, but it will fill... Oh, wait, no. This card beats it, so we can play it safe. Holy crap, he had a Catapult Turtle. That's pretty cool. And we won the duel. That was way less stressful than Pegasus, but she does have a lot of strong monsters. It was just the fact that Pegasus can summon Bickery Box for free. It's one monster, no fusions, and he, he just had that card. But nope, she was nothing. We defeated Isis. Thank God. Everyone, everyone can go home now. How? How could I lose? Why is she smiling when her ring gets taken away? Or, is that a ring? No, necklace. So we were able to steal a girl's necklace. Very good. You made it to the final. I'm rooting for you. Okay. I didn't want to do the final in this episode, but this episode hasn't been going on very long. We're going to save the game. And this will probably be our first loss. I thought Pegasus was going to be our first loss. I'm surprised he wasn't the final or second to last boss. But, I mean, here we go. We're just going to do it. I saved the game. Did Joey make it to the finals? This is it. Our finalists are the amazing Kaiba and the undefeated Yugi. I thought I might be facing you, Yugi. My Millennium Rod is the final item. Okay, so yeah, they Merrick doesn't exist, so they just gave him the rod. <laughs> so, that's kind of funny. The Millennium Rod holder is Seto Kaiba. Not something I would have expected. And yes, if you're curious, uh, Joey got defeated. He's just, he, he died. He's gone. So, no need to cry. Um, that 1400 is nice, but water really doesn't fuse with anything. So, I think we're good. We might not be able to beat him, but if we draw our Labyrinth Wall, or if we draw our Dragons, we should be okay. Alright, we drew a Dragon, but the Dragon is not not going to satisfy what we need. So we're going to throw everything in our hand away. Just so that we can draw more cards. Because I don't think this card I'm about to summon, Neko Gall number 2, is enough to even touch Kaiba. So even in defense mode, I think we're screwed against something like Kaiba. And he's not even fusing. God damn it. What are you going to summon? Okay, good. We're safe for now. And we got off electric. Okay, we can do it. We, we can do it, everybody. We got a rock. So we can make it like this. We'll make our rock dragon, or the stone deep. And then we can make the electric one for... Okay, this glitch has been happening a lot, and it's starting to freak me out, so... Uh, wait, is that just Stone D, but it has 2800 attack? This game this game makes no sense. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm not trying to make a glitch like this. Look, now it's Thunder Dragon. Now it's Stone D. Okay, whatever. We're going to play with this glitch. Hopefully my system doesn't blow up or whatever. But um, we just need to win this duel. That's all that matters. Win the duel. Hopefully he doesn't summon his strongest card, which we all know what Kaiba's strongest card is, but he has to draw it, so if he does, if he never draws it, we win the duel, because our, our twin head Thunder Dragon defeats everything else. Uh, let's go. Mars attacks. Oh, he had Parrot Dragon just for fun? Jesus Christ. But Twin Thunder Dragon or Stone D for some reason, because the card messed up and glitched will be enough to defeat him. Oh my god, we're going to defeat Kaiba without even taking damage? Oh, he's going to he's gonna hit me right now, just so I can't say that. Yep, of course. Oh, and only because he got a power boost. That's that's lame. 
Kaiba, you're lame. Freaking Pegasus was the real final boss. He was cool. And even in the show, he was cool. Like, he was an actual threat. Relinquished and Thousand Eye Restrict were awesome. Um, obviously, this was before rules were invented, so it was even funnier. Um, whatever. This was a fun duel, Kaiba. Thanks for... Thanks for not being stressful. Thanks for being a normal fight that I did not have to really worry about. And he gives me the hit So Me Giants. And as you know, that is one of his iconic cards. It's not a good card, but you know, we all ran crap cards in the past. This cannot be me defeated. And now we can take his Millennium Rod, which why the hell does he have it? <laughs> it doesn't even that's not even the Millennium Rod. That's the prototype version of it. Whatever. And now with all these cards and my Millennium Puzzle, we can do Wait, what? Some really trippy artwork. You know, little vines or vines made out of air. What did what did we do? Simon, Cooper, you've done it. Now you can go back to your own world. You have that boy to thank for this. Yugi, if I may be so bold, I believe the boy represents what you are to be. Now, with the Millennium Items pulling at each other over time, the portal to our world can, can be opened. That's a creepy ass door. Haitian now has six of the Millennium Items and rules over the expansive realm. Using his items, he has managed to unleash a portion of the power of darkness. Whatever. He has placed each item in temples located at each conquered area to protect his holdings. Prince Cooper, you must retrieve all Millennium Items. And seal them away once and for all. The locations of the temples are well, yada yada yada. Whatever. My time has come. Yay, Simon's dying. Sorry that we don't love you, I know. Thank you for being my guide and being my only parent because my parents probably didn't take care of me because they were a king and queen. There's nobody here. So yeah, we are done with the the present time and we're going back into the past and we're ba going back into the metro metropolis. And the old card shop is there. Uh, dual ground, Pharaoh's place. Uh, let's go to the old dual ground and see, you know, what's what's the happening? How, how is everybody? We've been gone for a long time. Nobody's here. It looks abandoned. Hey, Cooper. Wow, you're alive? Oh, I guess everyone's dead. I never dreamed that I'd see you again, Cooper. I still can't believe it. You know, I was really surprised when I first learned that you were actually a prince. It's good to see you. I never dreamed that you'd manage to get away. Cooper, this place has changed since you disappeared. It's a sad situation, but the duels still go on at the secret location nearby. Come on, I'll take you there. Let's go. Alright. So, civilization survived. Here you go. This is where we set up our new dueling grounds. Cooper, the mages spent days trying to find out where you might have run off to. When we said we had no idea, they destroyed our old dueling grounds. That's why we had this way nicer dueling ground down here. Cooper, you're alive! What do you expect? Cooper isn't dumb enough to be caught. You know, it's a miracle that you managed to elude them. Yeah, those guys taking over the entire kingdom. They do as they please, control everything. They wield some kind of strange magic. Nobody can stand up to them. The way things are going, we'll have to live down here for the rest of our lives. Cooper, feel like dueling? Yeah, it beats moving around. That's that. That was appropriate. We're gonna decline both of them for now. I want to save the game and then end off the episode. But we will be coming back here for a duel. Um, I'm gonna show you on the overworld where you go. This is the hiding card shop. And then when you go talk to the card person, this guy. Um, yeah, you're still around. We can go to either the card shop or the dueling grounds from here. We're gonna go to the card shop just for now, so we can save the game. Thank you all for watching, and next time we're going to be exploring our new destroyed past that is the future, because we were gone for like a couple weeks. So we need to see what the hell these mages have been doing, and maybe fix everything. See you then.